Hello, I'm Josh Clement, interactive producer at Mountain Lake PBS. Perhaps you're wondering why I'm driving along and talking to you at the same time. The fact is, I couldn't help but be inspired to hit the open road after talking to Bloomingdale resident Gar Munn. Gar's connection to the family car has inspired him to build a soapbox car for the upcoming Daft Fest Derby in Saranac Lake, New York. It sounded exciting because I had a number of uh, grandchildren that would be at the right age and have the interest to do that. So I, uh, I immediately started thinking, okay, I'm going to do this. I want to build a car. What is it going to look like? What do I model it after? And then I looked over at my, my family car I've been rebuilding for the last seven years, uh, my 55 Chevy Nomad, and I thought, you know, I could make a little car look like that. And so I, I spent the winter making plans and uh, bought a sheet of three-quarter inch plywood, which is actually required to build the whole car, one complete sheet of plywood. And uh, they had plans. There was a number of different ways you could build them, but I used their plan. And uh, so I, I just went in some of the details, like the, the hood bird that is uh, very noticeable on the 55 Chevy. When I put this on the model, I was thinking about how, how many times my father looked at that bird, you know, on all the family trips and his business ventures. Uh, that was just, that's an integral part of the car. It stands out to say this is this is a 55 Chevy. Yes, it's clear Gar's connection to the 55 Nomad is special. Building the soapbox car has given him a unique opportunity to connect with his grandchildren and show them what family pride is all about. Well, they, they definitely have a connection to the car and of course they also know that my connection with the Nomad because ever since they were born it's been a part of my life. They've seen me working on it. They've, uh, they're down here all the time seeing Grandpa work on this car and uh, they're always asking questions about, well, I, like I have pictures up inside on the old refrigerator of me when I was younger with the car, and they're all asking, you know, so Grandpa, is that, that's you in that car? You know, and you, you know, they're, they're just making the connection that the interest I had to keep this car alive in our family. This 55 Chevy Nomad was actually purchased by my father, brand new, in Saranac Lake in 1955. In fact, it'll be 57 years next month that he drove it out of the showroom right on Broadway in Saranac Lake. And I was two years old, and it remained the family car all these years. It never left the family. Uh, my sisters, my brothers all used it, you know, for school and their jobs. And me being one of the younger in the family, uh, my brother Mike was the last one to use the car uh, and turned it over to me in 1970. In 2005, I, uh, I decided to redo the car. I took it off the frame did a complete restoration. And I'm, I'm, it's going on seven years in August that uh, I started this project. So a lot of hours, a lot of uh, labor of love, a lot of money, and uh, the car is probably a year, a year away from complete uh, completion. Uh, still needs to be painted and uh, the seats put in, but I will be driving it this summer, even with the primer on it. It's been a fun project and I've had a lot of support from my wife, Anne, and the whole family, you know, different uh, birthday presents, Christmas presents, they give me different things that I need to complete this project. So it's, it's been great. So I just felt it appropriate to use that as the model for, for this guy here. Yeah. And I'm still calling this the Nomad. Gar certainly has put a lot of time and energy into the 55 Nomad. This year, the soapbox car will get a bit of a rehaul itself. Daft Fest officials learned last year that a simple modification will make the cars run a lot smoother and enhance the competition. Here's an example of, there's last year's wheel, and now this is what's gonna go on this year. So you can see there's gonna be a lot of cutting involved. Uh, I got extensions of the axles and the bearings. Um, you know, so it, it'll, it, it's gonna require a little bit of thinking, but I think in, in, in the end, it'll, it'll work out well. Gar's grandson, Nicholas, had some thoughts of his own on the matter. What do you think about this year? Do you think it's going to go a little bit better with new wheels on it? Yeah. yeah. Last year, uh, the wheels fell off after the, after the second person that went in it. The wheels s snapped off and we didn't even know where we were going. But I was the first one and mine didn't fall out. That's where I got in first place. Yes, the same attention to detail Grandpa gives to the 55 Nomad carries over to the soapbox version as well. Gar tells me that six of his grandchildren will be riding in this year's Daft Fest Derby. So are you going to be driving this little Nomad or are you going to be driving the Nomad behind you? The Nomad right here. Thankfully for Gar, young Thomas got it right this time. 
But one day he and his cousins will get an opportunity to drive the 55 Nomad. And for them, Gar has one important message to send. I just hope that whenever, whenever they do take the car, that they'll respect it as I did and just treat it with, you know, love and care sure. because it's, uh, it's not a car you want to go out and take over to a, a party in the field. No, no. You know, it's, uh, I, can, I can see my, my grandkids getting married in this car. That would be such an honor for sure. me to see to, for that. That would be the main thing, mm -hmm. to see them use it as a limousine. And uh, I, I, hope that, I hope that dream comes true. And I'm sure it will. Gar has instilled a message of family pride in his grandchildren that hopefully they'll never forget. I'll be attending this year's DAF Fest, so be sure to watch for the Little Nomad in action in the coming weeks. As for the 55, we'll expect Gar to send us pics of the special car upon completion. As for now, it's a beautiful day for a drive. For Mountain Lake PBS, I'm Josh Clement. I'll see you on the web.